We're showcasing our aircraft and just trying to tell people what this is all about, what our company does. Our company's name is Pivotal, and we're flying our Blackfly aircraft here today, which are very similar to our new version Helix, which is uh, what we're taking orders for. Um, yeah, we just had two great flights. One of our engineers hopped in the aircraft and went up for 10 minutes each time, I think. Went really well. It's basically, it's a really novel aircraft. It's a, it's a fixed wing uh, tilt aircraft. All the, all the eight motors are fixed to the wings and the wings are fixed to the fuselage. So you tilt with the aircraft and it's VTOL. So you can hover and you can fly in forward flight. So you get the efficiency of wing-borne forward flight, but the uh, maneuverability and kind of accessibility of, of hover, because you can pretty much take off and land anywhere with 100 feet of space. So part 103 is the regulatory category. So again, it's an ultralight aircraft. There are limitations uh, about flying over congested areas. So we basically try to stay, you know, we're, we're not flying over um, cities or really built up um, suburban areas. Um, we try to stay over green space, water, um, that sort of thing. But uh, as you heard earlier, it's not super loud. Takeoff and landing is definitely the loudest, but once it's 200 feet away and it's pitched forward into that cruise mode, it quiets right down. We typically just fly around 500 feet above ground um, and you, you're totally in manual control the whole time. You can just like follow the terrain. Um, but so we stay high enough that uh, if you needed to use the parachute for some crazy reason, uh, it would, it would, you'd have plenty of time to use it. We can fly a little over 20 minutes at 62 miles an hour. That's our upper speed limit allowed by part 103. Um, so you basically get around 20 minute flights. Yeah. We anticipate a little bit of an improvement in, in um, you know, the one that we are taking orders for right now because we've got some new batteries, um, new motors and things in there, but um, don't have the numbers to give you quite yet. And it's super fun to fly. It's like, so I'm not a private pilot, but I fly this thing. Um, and uh, I'm, it's, it's just the easiest way to possibly get in the air, right? So you come to us, we do the training. Um, you don't have to be a pilot to fly an ultralight. Uh, but we do comprehensive training it, with simulator time at our headquarters and then we take you out to the field and we monitor the first couple flights and then you can take an aircraft home. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean in our simulators you're flying in five minutes um, and you, you get the hang of it that quickly because it's like it's fly by wire and it's like a drone in that way so it, it's um, protecting you and assisting you making it really simple um, and then it takes uh, a number of hours over a few days to go through all of the other scenarios and flight planning and training and things, but it's ultimately so easy and so fun. How about that? That's another successful touchdown. Let's give it up for Akon. We are so excited to have shared this flight with you tonight. And if you haven't already, I encourage you to register for the VR flight simulators. Do not be deterred by the wait. We'll try and get everyone this yeah. And 